10-time European champions, more than any other team ever, 31 Spanish league titles, more than any other team ever, and valued at $1.32 billion, making them the second richest soccer team in the world and the sixth in all sports overall. But yet, when Real Madrid visited the Bay Area to play Club America, the second most popular team in Mexico, at Candlestick Park, 48,000 screaming fans, plus their vuvuzelas, and other 5,000 disappointed fans who couldn't get in, that were stuck at the chaotic Wilco lines outside the stadium, came to see the first appearance of Real Madrid in the Bay Area since the 1980s. Most fans, who paid from $55 to $125, came to see one single player. Who do we come to see? We came to see Cristiano Ronaldo, just like everyone else from Afghanistan. Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo, a todo Real Madrid. Pizarro también. Who, who's your favorite player? Oh, Cristiano Ronaldo. Next is uh, Mourinho. Uh, Well, almost everybody. People seem to even forget he's playing right next to other world-class players, such as Gonzalo Higuaín. The Argentine scored more goals than him in the last World Cup, four, and even more goals the entire last season in the Spanish league. Portuguese star Cristiano Ronaldo, who retook that number seven he once wore at Manchester United, demonstrated the strong marketing power of Real Madrid and why the team spent over a hundred million dollars on this one player. Besides his t-shirt selling ability, he seems to do everything on the pitch. He creates goal opportunities, he dribbles, he sets up goals, and on the night of August 4th, he didn't disappoint his fans, and he had time to, well, write history. He scored on a free kick, his specialty, the tiebreaker goal with which Real Madrid defeated the Mexican side 3-2. On this, the first preseason game for the Spanish Giants. They eventually defeated the Los Angeles Galaxies three days later with the same score. For Mexicans around the Bay Area, this was a great chance to support the team native of Mexico City, Club America. America! The game was put together by El Mexicano, a San Jose-based company of Mexican foods and products, and had organizational help from San Jose Earthquakes. According to some publications, fans who were stuck outside the stadium will receive a refund. What's up? Un saludo a todos los peruchos de la trinchera norte de Perú. Arriba Alianza, corazón.